The Texas Land Commissioner also in the valley today. He met with flood victims displaced by last week's storms. For too long in, in our country, we wait till the next storm to ask for funding. Why not take funding up front and prevent the damage from happening in the first place? Channel 5's Catalina Cruz explains what his office is doing to help families recover what they lost. Nearly two feet of water gushed into Teresa Villegas's home in a matter of hours. Everywhere, the front yard, backyard, in the house, everywhere. As rain poured throughout the valley, Villegas tried finding a way out of her home. The help never came. She says she relied on her faith to find safe shelter. La ayuda de Dios, you know, he helped me out. I prayed. Now Villegas is relying on the government for help. She, like many others, didn't have flood insurance. She doesn't know how much damage she'll go back to. That's a question many staying at the shelter don't have an answer to. Today, disaster assessment teams toured the valley. The Texas Land Commissioner, George P. Bush, did too. He tried easing worries as he met with displaced families in Star, Hidalgo, Willacy, and Cameron County. This is the first step of a long journey together. The General Land Office is tasked with temporary and permanent housing for victims like Villegas. The first time they provided assistance of this kind was following Hurricane Harvey. Bush says his office learned procedures that will allow efforts to run smoother this time around. We have an agreement already in place with FEMA. We have our troops that are already read in under the Federal Privacy Act. We have contractors ready to go that can deliver MHUs, travel trailers and contractors. So now it comes down to the president, the White House, making that declaration. Once that green light is, is, uh, is, is delivered, then FEMA is then authorized to work with uh, an agency like ours. As we reported, today the office of the governor formally requested a federal disaster declaration. The president has to approve before funds are dispersed. Bush says his agency is getting a head start. We're working hard right now with the governor's office to qualify as many homes and show the federal government that there was significant damage in order to, to meet that, that aid. The general land office is also focusing efforts on prevention by allocating money for infrastructure. Infrastructure is always the, the big question because as we rebuild, remove debris, take care of displaced Texans through shelters and wonderful programs like American Red Cross, we got to think about the next one. In order to get as much aid to the area, Villegas and other flood victims are encouraged to document the damage and loss the water left behind. Reporting in Westlaco, Carolina Cruz, Channel 5 News at 6.